Hey folks, Blake Williams here at the Milan Bluegrass Festival. I've got Sean Lane here with us at Blue Highway. Welcome, Sean. Hey, Blake. Good to have you guys up here. You did a great first show, picked up a storm. We had to run for the hills for a while, but looking forward to another big show tonight. Um, you guys still on Rounder Records, right? We are. Yeah. Got a new project coming out? Yes, yeah, coming out September 9th, and uh, it's Original Traditional is the name of it, and uh, looking forward to that. That's great. I know you've been doing a little uh, Curly Seckler impersonation with the Earls of Leicester. That, that's got to be fun. It's the best. I mean, it's like being a kid again. Jerry told me when he was uh, calling me about filling in for some of these shows, and he said, trust me, it's like being a kid again, and he was right. I heard Jerry and Sean Camp on Track by Track on Sirius XM yesterday promoting the new project and the, the depth that they've went to to try to recreate those sounds, the reverb they put on the records, the fact that they tune sharp just like Flatten Scruggs, right? Oh, yeah, they yeah. do. And uh, the, the, the detail, he was talking about scrounging up some tapes of Josh Gray's playing with Wimbley and Stoney Cooper on the Opry and shows with the Ash Grove. So, I mean, I think they're really taking our music to new places, and that's really cool. They really are. You know, Jerry tells this uh, story about when the uh, Flat and Scruggs was coming back in off of a show in the old bus, and the, something happened. The bus was overheating, and as they were about 300 miles out, and they got Curly back there was the only one that was small enough to stick back there in the engine and hold the shroud off of the fan while they were coming into town, like for 200 miles. And so that stuff like that, you know, to hear that is worth the whole thing. They were one of the first groups, Flat and Scruggs, were to have a bus, and it was a gasoline engine. And it's my understanding it caught on fire all the time, but. I heard a story on Curly the other day. They said that uh, when Marty Stewart came into the band at 13, Lester told Curly, he said, uh, well, you might as well leave your mandolin at the house. Oh, go ahead and bring it. You look pretty good holding it. <laughs> but we could go on with stories about that forever. But uh, Blue Highway, one of the most awarded groups in, in history. How many years have you been together? Uh, going our 22nd year. 22nd year, still going strong. Thank you for coming to Milan, and we look forward to having you back. Thank you, Blake. It's been it's been fun, and uh, we we love it here. It's a great place. Thanks.